Okay, so why should we share the opportunity? What do y'all think? Well, um, I think we should share it because we can help uh, other young women that are out there struggling um, to uh, have a hope of a better future for them. You know, I especially like to, you know, talk to like waitresses and stuff because I used to do that when I was younger. And, um, you know, women that are like in retail, you know, sometimes you get trapped in those positions and you don't think that, you know, there's a future out there for you. Whereas with Mary Kay, um, the prospect of, um, your prospect, you know, your, your potential is unlimited, you know, um, yeah. and you don't have to have a college degree, you know, um, they don't, like I, you know, like you said, they won't judge you, you know, for who you, you know, where you've been or whatever. Mm -hmm. It could really help you to get out of, um, you know, uh, your present situation. Yeah, perfect answer. Yes. Christina? Um, well, talking about sharing the business, I think a good why is to show others that there's confidence in them and bring their own testimony. It could be army retired, it could be depression, it could be pregnant, it could be disability, you know, and I've noticed when you have something to do, life seems a lot brighter. Yeah. This is when you're depressed, you don't want to do anything, and then you get more depressed. So that's my why, is because it's making me realize that there's a life out there. Yeah. And, you know, like I said earlier, fear's the villain, and you need to step up and be like, die. <laughs> Gets out of the house. Yeah. You know, yes. People on the couch. <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't know follow up. You know, you know just do your thing. Um. Just to make women feel better about themselves. I mean, y'all said it perfectly. <laughs> yes. And so. Um, there are many reasons to share the business, and all of y'all gave, like, some of the best answers. Um, you know, this is an amazing opportunity, like, it's such a blessing, it's such a gift, and we, I mean, it is, like, our job and it's our duty to share it with other women. Because, I mean, just imagine, like, if someone didn't share it with you, like, where would you be, what would you be doing if, like, Mary Kay was not a part of your life? Well, I have, I have a neighbor for years. Oh, I go out and I, yeah, I remember I was working two jobs at the time. I a regular, regular job. It's making decent money. But I needed that little room or whatever. And I'm like, I just go out and I do facials. And I'm like, and, and I knew it was Mary Kay. And I, I was like, how do you do facials? Oh, you know, and she never ever invited me to one. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> I just, for her love, I got you in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I still be third shift at McDonald's, which mm -hmm. sucked because I worked all night, slept all day, and no time for anything else. Yeah. I'd still be working every day. I feel like if I didn't have Mary Kay in my business, I'd probably still be in my crappy relationship that I had no business being in. And so, like I said, I think Mary Kay is a gift. Um, also, you know, like, this is like a legacy. Like this legacy has been building for over 50 years and we are carrying it on. We are carrying it on, you know, to other women, to our daughters, to our grandchildren, to other women's daughters and grandchildren. And like, you know what's really cool is like when you build a national area and like you can pass it on to your daughter. I think that's, I think the fact that it's, in, uh, that you can pass it on mm -hmm. is awesome. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know who I would pass on. I think you can pass on to another sales director. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to double check, so don't quote me. Okay. But um, yes, yeah, so you know, we are carrying on a legacy as well. And then, of course, you know, when you share the business, you make more money. So that is a very nice perk. And I'm going to write that down for y'all. You, you know something? When, um, when uh, one manager came to me and was like, he wanted to send me back to be uh, to be a guard after um, other things I was working mm -hmm. working in, and he was like, "Well, I'm pulled back down to you know security to see you know." And I looked at him. And I said, "I am not going back down there. 
I was on my car. Eleven dollars and twenty seven cents. I could sell two mascaras and make more money. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and I was like so shocked. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not gonna be a part of it. Are you kidding me? Uh, I was dumb. Yes. So one of the most important parts of sharing the business opportunity is you gotta be in the right mindset. You gotta be in the right mindset before your parties, before your appointments, before you share the business. Because, like, if you are not in the right mindset, you are not going to get the results that you want. Like, it is rare that you go into something thinking, like, super crappy, and then it just turns out amazing. Mm -hmm. But what Mary Kay used to say is, like, you know, you have to create your expectations. Like, create what you accept. And so, you know, when I was going into the IQ, before my parties, I did affirmations. I claimed that I was going to sell a product, that I was going to recruit, and I would put a number down, like, I'm recruiting three people from this day. I'm recruiting five people from this weekend. I'm recruiting two people on the spot. And guess what? Like, I legit recruited seven people in six days. Do you know something? Let me tell you something. Seven, seven, no, it was... Actually, you know, it was Sunday morning. I got up, right? Got up on the late and said, I'm going to do my devotional. I did my devotional, mm -hmm. sitting there having a talk with God, wrote everything out. I, I prayed that God would send me the right roommate, you know, and um, would bless me and all of this. Next thing I know, I got a phone call. <laughs> get a phone call, and I got my right roommate. Mm -hmm. And it's, I was like, that is true. Yes. yes, you got to you got to speak yes. into existence. Yes. And so what we're going to do next is we are going to practice affirmations. And so I'm going to say these affirmations. I want y'all to repeat after me. And then after we do this for a solid minute, we're going to check you know how we feel. Wait a second. I was watching The Overcomer. The new movie that just came out. I heard of it. Okay. Well, it's a Christian movie. It just came out, and you guys talked about affirmations and seeing the possible things that will happen. In the movie, the dad was coaching his daughter through the run. And he said, you know, if you see that you've already lost, you've already done it. No. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to say that. Yes, girl. But Thank even you. Even if you say the positive things, hey, I'm going to have science video today. Uh, but if you, you know, before you walk in, feel like, you're going to be positive, mm -hmm. negative and positive, whatever. That's, that's why they say, that's why the Bible says so, to be careful what you say out loud. And also, do not prejudge your parties because let me let me tell you, you won't have some crazy other people while we've been here. Some ratchet other people sometimes. Men, you know, you'll just have every kind of person, and like your mind is actually going to be afraid yeah. because you're just like, oh god, I'm about to like go through two hours of work, and I'm not going to sell anything. You got to check yourself. So you just got to do your best and have a positive mindset because I have, you know, had consultants where they prejudge their party and they're just like, oh, this party's going to suck. And guess what? The party sucks. And I've had people that are just like, you know, this is going to be great. It's a little, little questionable, but it's going to be great. <laughs> and then they, you know, they buy like $200 worth of coffee. And so never prejudge your party. Because you wouldn't want people judging you. And you just never know anybody's situation. Okay, so we do to say some affirmations. And because I want y'all to get in the habit of saying affirmations. Like, I love affirmations. Affirmations are so powerful. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so <laughs> we gotta speak into existence. And so I'm gonna say it and y'all say it. I'm just gonna keep, we're just gonna keep doing that for a little bit. And then what we're gonna do after that is we are gonna make a list of our own personal affirmations. Okay. So, being an entrepreneur is my natural path in life. Being you know, an entrepreneur is my natural, natural path, path in life. Success and money can easily to me. Success and money can easily to me. What I focus on grows, and so I focus on my business. What I focus on grows, so I focus on my business. My service is a gift to this world, and I feel compelled to share it. My service is a gift to this world, and I feel compelled to share it. 
You need to set yourself. <laughs> I'm building a successful company every day. I'm building a successful company every day. My work makes a difference in this world. My work makes a difference in this world. And I'm back. Yes. I believe in the value I create in the lives of others through my business. I believe in the value I create. I believe in the value I create in the lives of others through my business. I am smart, successful, and savvy about my business. I am smart, successful, and savvy about my business. The success of my fellow consultants fuels me with an energy and joy. My success of my fellow consultants fuels me with energy and joy. Fills me with energy and joy. I love seeing them succeed. Whatever I can dream up for my business, I can achieve. Whatever I can dream up for my business, I can achieve. I create daily opportunities for growth for myself and others. My failures have made me a better business owner. My failures have made me a better business owner. My income is growing every day by doing something I love. My income is growing every day by doing something I love. The passion I have for my work enables me to create real value. The passion I have for my work enables me to create real passion. Real passion. Huh? Value. <laughs> 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 hey, you kept it going. <laughs> I'm driven by passion and purpose. I'm driven by passion and purpose. Money and wealth comes to me easily. Money and wealth comes to me easily. I attract my ideal clients. I attract my ideal clients with my energy. With my energy. I serve my highest work to my clients. I serve my highest work to my clients. My success. I mean, my business is set up for massive success and growth. My business is set up for massive success and growth. Why would I say that was some enthusiasm? <laughs> I am energized by challenges in my business. I am energized by challenges in my business. Oh, yes, that sounds so good. My business is growing at exactly the right pace. My business is growing exactly at the right pace. I started my business at the perfect time in my life. I started my business at the perfect time in my life. My business meets and exceeds my needs. My business needs exceeds my needs. I get everything I want. I get everything I want by first helping others. By first helping others. Get everything they want. Get everything they want. My business helps me serve my life purpose. My business helps me serve my life purpose. My business is the safest bet to security and wealth. My business is the safest bet to security and wealth. I treasure the freedom my business affords me. I treasure the business. I love work and feel charged and energy energized by my my business. What? What? <laughs> I love my business. I love my business. I feel charged and energized by it. Charged, <laughs> charged and energized by it. My business leaves me stronger and happier at the end of the day. My business leaves me stronger and happier. I invest in myself and in my business every day. I invest in myself and in my business every day. I'm making a difference in this world with my business. I'm making a difference in this world with my business. My failures do not define me, they grow me. My failures do not define me, they grow me. That's a long time. My, my ideas come to life through my business. My ideas come to life through my business. Alright, this is the last verse. Y'all gotta be super enthusiastic. I leave a small dent in the universe with my work. I leave a small dent in the universe with my work. I take my business seriously without taking myself too seriously. I take my business seriously without taking myself seriously. I, pre I appreciate all the lessons that owning my business has taught me. I appreciate all the lessons my owning my business has taught me. Success and growth are inevitable outcomes of my work. Success and growth are inevitable. Oh, that's my oh, that's my <laughs> Good job! Okay, so how do y'all feel? Right. Y'all feel yes. better, right? Yeah, you need to send that to us. I will send that to y'all. Okay, so I want us to create 10 affirmations that we're going to say every day for ourselves for the rest of this week. And so I want you to be extremely 
Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. Specific. And so, did this stop? I might have not recorded any of that. <laughs> okay, it's still going. Okay. So, affirmations for your business. Like, I'm a master booker. People want to book with me. I'm a master recruiter. I love this business. I'm living my purpose with this business. Think of those kind of affirmations. And write this, you know, whatever's going to pump you up. Because we're about to be doing this. We're going to do it. We'll start with five, actually. We'll do five here and then five at home. Awesome. All right, so who wants to go first? Let's be that affirmation. Okay. All right, we'll go this way. Okay. See? Yeah. Fine. I am a master booker. People love to book with me. My business is, is successful. My business makes lots of money. <laughs> yes! I have 10 new consultants. I am a future director. Yes. I am great at presenting the business presentation. I am a great speaker. Yes. I love it, Gracie. Yes. I love it. All right. Every day. Every day. Every day in the morning. Okay. All right. And get in the mirror, too, when you yeah. say it. And look yes. at yourself in the eye in the mirror. And also say, God loves you. God loves you. And you love yourself. Yes. God loves <laughs> I'm a good talker, chatty. I am happy working my business. I am enough. I love sharing the business. Mary Kay helps me stay positive. Awesome! <laughs> love it, girl! I'm a master booker. I'm also sharing the business. I'm an expert at long chat. I'm a new expenditure. I'm a senior class. And I'm successfully growing the business every day. Yeah! <laughs> Okay.
So I am growing a million dollar unit. Woo! I'm a future Cadillac driving director. I'm a master, booker, seller, and recruiter. I am what women need in their life. My unit is a perfect home for women. Oh, All right, so every day in the morning, do your affirmations. That's not homework, okay? okay? All right, so the right mindset, perfect. So now we're going to touch base on making more money. So if you really want to maximize your business, first thing is sell the product. Second thing is share the business. And so I'm going to show y'all why you want to share the business. And so this little tool right here, actually, let me get to this thing right here. And I'll let y'all look at these. This will kind of break down the different commissions. Okay, so this is your advanced brochure, and it's on in touch. Y'all, you want to become best friends with this because this is what's going to help you like track the career path. And so, as a beauty consultant, you know, you make 50% on the sales of your products and you earn a $50 team building bonus. So, all y'all can do that when you recruit qualified people. As a senior beauty consultant, you make 50%, you earn 4% on your team, and you still earn that $50 bonus. As a star team builder, that's when you have three on your team, three active, that's where you're going to wear a jacket. You make the 50%, you can earn 4 to 8% commission on your team members. You earn that $50 bonus, but you also earn a first-time red jacket $100 bonus. Yes. And so you'll earn 50, 50, 50 plus 100, so that's 250 dollars extra plus your commissions. And I guess pay direct deposit to your bank account. When you are a team leader, which is five, or future director, which is to eight, but you have not submitted for the IQ, you earn 50% commission on your sales, you earn nine or 13% commission on your team, and then you earn the $50 team building bonus. And so you go from four to eight and you jump up to nine or 13%. And I will say that 13% is pretty nice. Like, you can make over $1,000, definitely. So that 13% comes out of what your team members saw, right? So it doesn't come out of their paycheck. So Mary Q will pay you the percent of their production. So let's do the math here. Let's say you sell 5,000 by yourself. You're gonna make $2,500. You sell 5,000, make the 2,500 as a, or your team does 5,000. <laughs> You'll get an extra two hundred dollars as a senior consultant if you're if she were to do five thousand plus your fifty percent. Uh, as a star team builder, four, six, or eight percent. So on five thousand plus eight percent. Now it's four hundred, and then six percent would be three hundred. So two, three, or four hundred extra commission plus your fifty dollar bonus plus your hundred dollar searching for bonus. Now thirteen percent that's six hundred fifty. So you went from only making two hundred dollars to making six hundred fifty extra dollars. After the same amount of production. So now when you become a sales director, which is pretty nice if I say so myself. So on your personal team, you make 13%. So you make that 16. On your unit, which is everybody, if you do 50, or okay, actually let's do 5,500, because that is what you'll have to do. 
So 715, on your unit. So unit is everybody. So that means your recruits, recruits, recruits. Like, that's everybody. Your personal team is just who you personally recruited. So you, they up the director's commission. So now we make 23%. Before you only made 13. Now we make 23 on our unit. So that's an additional twelve hundred sixty-five dollars plus the seven fifteen. Also, as a sales director, you get paid on your own personal sales. So you make your fifty percent plus you get an extra commission on your sales. So you always want to be selling. Instead of the fifty dollar bonus, you make a hundred dollar bonus on recruiting as a sales director. So you make that $100. Um, when you have star consultants in your unit, you can make an additional $300 bonus. You also get a yearly bonus from $800 to $2,000, just as a wellness bonus. And then when you offer sales directors, you also get a $1,000 bonus. And, um, depending on how much you do, you get extra bonuses. And so that, just like a minimum, if you have one, one recruit, one new recruit, you jumped from $200 to $650 to $2381. So which would you rather have for the same amount of production? <laughs> right. And so like this little thing they give us when we become sales directors, it's a little, it's how you can plan your commission check. So you can like put in everything and watch this grow. So you can plan how much activity you need to do. Also, you can just see what your commission check's going to be. But we get, yeah, we get a $400 bonus thousand dollar bonus um as a new director you can earn three thousand dollar bonus yes um you get a cadillac bonus you get a unit circle bonus so directors also get paid twice a month as well so instead of getting paid just on the 15th you can get paid on the 15th and the first so any questions about how to make money and why building a team makes a whole hell of a lot of difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice to get that extra paycheck when you are like when I get home. Yes. So because I need to get excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 2400 Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are, do y'all, y'all familiar with the Mrs. Cat game during the party? That is where we kind of show the opportunity, the purse game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to act like I'm doing a party with y'all. So y'all can kind of see how I do it. And this is how I share the opportunity at my party. This is how I want to give everyone a little snippet. Um, I even got a ticket here for y'all, so y'all can um, totally interact with me. Okay. Y'all ready? Yep, I'm good. All right, ladies. So how is your skin feeling? Amazing. Amazing. Perfect. So we are going to play a fun little game. I want you to get your purses out. This is a little look and find game. So I'm going to give you a letter, and then you find one item in the purse with that letter, and then I'll give you a ticket. And so the first letter is the letter M. Money. 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 <laughs> okay, so the M represents money. Because you know, we all gotta make money. You know, money gives us choices, it gives us freedom. Like, money makes a different world go around. And 
Eventually, you know, it brings us happiness as well because we have those short Security. Okay. <laughs> security, security as well. And so what percent of should we all think in a vacation fall from startup? Compression of this. Ten percent. Five percent. You're funny. Twenty percent? Okay. So Emily was the closest. We actually start out at fifty percent commission. And y'all don't believe that. And so I love that because you know divide by two is really easy. And that is not my favorite subject at all. Is that favorite I mean, there's some people <laughs> you know, those special people like me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when Mary Kay was designing this company, and you know, she wanted women to pay for their work, she wanted us to have no glass ceilings or income. So she gave us one of the highest commission rates in the world. And so we have 50% commission. What's amazing about that is, you know, skincare provides a residual income, so your income is constantly growing. Because, you know, your clients wash their face twice a day, the products run out, and then we have to clog it again. And so it's really, really awesome. But on top of that 50%, you know, when you invite other women into this business, and you share this opportunity with others, the company pays us to do that. It pays me to coach and network other women. And so, we can make an additional 4 to 36% commission. And so wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. It's so exciting. Also, tons of bonuses. It's awesome. And so, you know, I love that because it doesn't matter you know, where you came from, what you do, where you're starting. You can totally turn this business opportunity into anything that you want to be. It doesn't matter what your education is. Like what your family situation is, how you look, none of that matters. This is total even playing field. And so, if you have an extra five hundred dollars a month, what would you do with it? Pay bills. Pay bills. Pay Mr. Myers' phone right now. Tattoos. Tattoos. What did you say? Tattoos. The next thing I want you to look for in a person that starts the letter R. Receipt. Receipt. Ring. <laughs> okay. So the R represents rewards and recognition. So who here likes to be recognized? Like when you do a good job, when you're working hard, and like so proud of that, I can say. I love it. If you get to know me, you'll notice that I'm very competitive and I like my name to be said. And so I have a lot of recognition. Now, Mary Kay said that women were praised to success or insecurities as well as the nation. So that's why we get tons of recognition. You know, on a weekly basis, monthly, and then every year we get to go to Dallas, Texas. It's amazing. And, you know, we get to walk across stage and be in Dallas with our hair and our makeup done, wearing sashes. There's tiaras, there's a from my fall out of the sky very slowly and gracefully. It is like the Miss America of Mary <laughs> And so I love it. I think it's awesome. And I know you're like some gifts and prizes. Me too. And so y'all know when you said that you were going to have so much money, you were going to pay bills and do your retirement and And so most women who have made extra money, they but it's worth something responsible, debt, bills, children, house, fixing things, but rarely do we need to treat ourselves, you know, treat yourself. And so Mary Kay started the STAR consultant program, which if you look at this poster back here, it's got some of our amazing prizes that we earn every quarter. And so just for working our business when you reach certain levels, you get a big gift from the company. And so it ranges from electronics, you know, household items, gift certificates, design purses. Like, is any of that something that y'all could get excited about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can get a gift certificate and use it wherever you want. Look at those tattoos. Every year, those are some of the diamonds that we get to. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, diamonds are our girl's best friend. And so, Mary Kay knew that. So she gifted us with diamonds, and so every year we can go pick up diamonds and send out all of our best girlfriends. 
they're like for real, for real Latinx. They're not fake. They're not like, um, yeah, they're they're legit. And so they're amazing. I don't know where I was going. Um, but yeah, so I love prizes. Mary Kay loves giving them. You know, even experiences. They gave us, you know, they gave us a cruise this year. They gave us luxury trips. And so Mary Kay treats us really, really well. And so the last thing I want you to look for in your person is the letter C. Hard. 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 Okay. So the C represents the car. And so if you know anything about Mary Kay, you know that there's a pink Cadillac, right? That's like the iconic symbol of womanism, I feel like, you know. And so Mary Kay gives us the opportunity to earn a car from the company. And so there are multiple cars that you can earn. There is the Chevy Malibu, the Equinox, there's a cute mini cute with pink racing stripes. Chevy Traverse, and then there's actually three Cadillacs now. At the very top, pink Escalade. It is gorgeous. I mean, all of them are gorgeous. The pink Cadillac actually has some gold plate in there with her name on it. So it's like mm -hmm. official, official. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And so Mary I mean, Kay pays. <laughs> right, Mary Kay pays for the tag, the title, the registration. You pay for your car insurance 85% for you and your spouse. And you can trade it in for a new one every two years so that you don't have like wear and tear and maintenance issues on the car. Like, who has time to their car to bring you? Ain't nobody got time for that. And so, Mary Kay thought about all of it. But you know, every woman's life is different. And so, maybe you don't need that car. Maybe you really need extra money. And so, there is a cash compensation. So, that ranges from $425 to $1,400 a month. That you can get paid to not drive the car. Now, after two years, if you decide you want to drive the car, you can go back to the car. And so you always have options. And so that is one of my favorite things about our business, is by having the options. And so, out of all those facts, what was something that you know was most intriguing for you? The mini car. The mini car. The car. The mini car. The mini car. <laughs> no, okay, so have y'all ever heard Mary Kay's story before? No. No, no. never. Well, I love telling Mary Kay's story because I was thinking, you know, she's such an influential woman. She has made history as a woman, as an entrepreneur, as a business. And so I think everyone should know, you know, what kind of company are what kind of company they're supporting. Um, and you know, just know this is such a thing because you kind of don't get that at Walmart or Sephora all the time. You kind of just have to go off of what that person says and then that's the end of what you want to do. And so, Mary Kay started this business in the 1960s, you know, working for corporate America, training all these men, and they were getting promoted over there. And so, she decided to retire from corporate America. She took all the five thousand dollars of her retirement fund, invested it into this business, and yes. We are now a $9 billion a year company. 100% debt free in over 40 countries and still privately owned by our family. And when I say that this is a private family owned business, like for real, it is. Like they keep it so personal. Like, you know, when I was doing qualifications, I got a personal call from the company. When we were going to write for a car, I got to talk to someone personally to help me through it. And then, you know, when I gave you as a director, got another call. They even tried to call me just to make sure I was doing okay, if I needed any encouragement. And that was when I really realized, like, man, this is, like, for real a personal family business. Because, like, I am one in a million. And they have people that will actually, you know, take the time to call you. And so I think that's really special. You know how many people they call a day? <laughs> I know, but they're so oh, happy. They're so happy and kind. Is there more there? Oh, I mean, they get treated really well. So, I mean, all of them are face and everything. Um, but what I love, you know, is when you wash your face with Mary Kay products, you're not just supporting, like, just a skin and cosmetic company. Cos cosmetic company. <laughs> you, 
you are supporting so many other amazing things. And so when you wash your face and make your products, you are supporting the fight against domestic violence. You also are supporting the fight against cancer affecting women. You're supporting, you know, replanting trees. Um, you're supporting, you know, being eco-friendly. Like our facility has zero carbon footprint, which you know a lot of places can't say. And um, you know, just like supporting all these different women that are being affected by some of the hardest things in life, you know, it's just like that really, really touched my heart. Um, and I can let you know, like Mary Kay totally, totally changed my life. I would not be where I am without this business. You know, I was in an unhealthy relationship, and because of this business, I was able to get out of it. It's because of the support system I had, the sisterhood that I had. I was able to walk away from a very unhealthy person. And, you know, God has really blessed me since I did that. And I truly think, like, if I wasn't in this company, like, I would have never had strength to do that. And I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, I started wanting to move into leadership with one consultant on my team. Two weeks later, I had eight went into qualifications. Two months later, they me as a director. One later, I bought a house. And one later, I put my whole so when I say that you can have anything that you want with this business, you really, really can't because it doesn't work for you. You just gotta work for you as well. And so was there anything that you learned that was new, intriguing? What was your favorite thing that you learned about this business? She took five thousand dollars and made money doing. She donates to women's shelters. Mm -hmm. Zero carbon footprint. Yes. And so I don't know if you need some extra money, maybe you want some new girlfriends, maybe you just want something, you know, something fun to do. But I invite each and every single one of you to, you know, just try that. Try it for a year, try it for 30 days, whatever you want to do. Just be a part of this pink bubble of the world, ask those questions, let it positively impact your life, and it's not going to be enough for day. Like, we will still love you. And so, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And so, that is kind of, you know, me sharing about the business, but then also sharing Mary's story and my story. If somebody signs up, and after 60 days of the market, it was Mary Kay or anything like that. So there is a 90% buyback. If they invest in inventory, they can send a product back for 90% refund. Now the only downfall is they will never be with Mary Kay again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because they have to dispose of all that product. Mm -hmm. So there is that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to help people. Sell their product off, you know, just doing parties and stuff, and kind of fading out is what I suggest. But there is that security blanket that there's a 90% buyback. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. cool. And so I do the Mrs. Cat game while my mask is drying, that way you're not just sitting there talking really loudly. And then I share the business and my why story closer to the end when we're about to close on sale. That way in their fields a little bit, and they're fresher. Um, they've got the business fresh on their mind. And so this is what, I mean, Chrissy has given me all the news. This is mine. Has the product on the front, a little bit about the business and the service on the back. This is what I like to do. Oh, the ones I have to do. So I've got one thing. They're totally fine. Do I make it? Or what? Yeah, they're on, if you go onto the um, the files on the Facebook group, mm -hmm. you can see it. So this is the survey that I use, and there's two other sheets attached to it, to take my notes for now. But um, this helps me figure out where people are at mentally about the business opportunity when I'm closing. And so the first thing that you want to do, of course, is close the sale. And then you want to book the second appointment. 
You want to post the sale first because you want to see, you want them to see you making money. Because if they see you not making money, um, it's not as effective when they see you making money. So make money off the first part. Then book the second appointment. Because then if she decides to join, you can turn that second appointment into her kickoff party. And then when you see what her answers are, what I do to sign people on the spot, I look at where their interest level is. So if they are a seven or above, I try to sign them on the spot. Because if you sign them when they're fresh and closer to the product, your uh, chances of them signing are a lot higher. Because when they leave, people will negative, negative names the crap out of them. That's true. They're going to be like, oh, you can't do that. You know, why would you waste your money? I'm don't listen to me. Like, here we go. <laughs> and so I try to sign them when they're fresh in front of me. And so on the bottom it says, you know, what would have to arise in your life to motivate you to get this opportunity to try? And I like that because if they say time, then I can be like, well, you know, if we can get together, take a look at your, your schedule, and if we can find just a little bit of time to work in your business, do you think that you would want to get started? You can work through that. If they're like, I need to talk to my husband, you can have them text your husband right there. If they're like, I'm shy, you can talk about how you were shy in the beginning and then you overcame that. If they're like, I'm not the sales type, you can be like, perfect, that's not the sales, we don't want the sales type. We want the friendly type, we want the type that loves people. And so, also, you know, when they ask these questions, it kind of shows where they can fit very me into their life. And so this is what I use um, to close. Chrissy has another one that is similar to this. And so do y'all have any questions on that? No. I remember I had uh, a friend that said she was a consultant, but she couldn't ask for the sale. I said, really? You couldn't ask them for the sale, really? And she says, yeah, I, I just couldn't ask them. I said, well, how? I mean, all you have to say is, would you like to take anything home with you today? So one thing that Chrissy has to say is that she uh -huh. would say, you know, I understand that you can shop anywhere, but is there any reason that you can shop with me? Okay. Because they're like, well, I guess not. That's <laughs> <laughs> not why I can. Um, and she, you know, so she was mm -hmm. born in sales. Mm -hmm. She got to walk across the different dining room. She was our Queen Court of Sales in Christie's unit last year. So she knows how to get to it. She's got like 300 clients that are like the way you are. Wow. So if you want tips on selling and retaining customer base and her job for sale, she's amazing. That's my recruiter, actually. Um, so she's the one who brought me into this business. She is phenomenal. Okay. So the next two sheets I want you to look at. So recruiting is a very personal experience. Um, the first thing, of course, you know is when you're sitting in front of a woman or sitting next to her, you need to make sure that she is your priority. Don't think about your commission check. Don't think about the excitement that you're going to have in your recruiter. Don't think about your red jacket. You need to think about how this opportunity is going to be a blessing for this woman. And so this first one, have y'all heard of DISC, the personalities? Okay, so DISC is the different type of personality type. So there's dominance, there's influence, there's steadiness, and then there's conscientiousness. And so you can take a little test, first you've got them, where it kind of tells you like which kind of DISC personality you have. So this, every time you meet with someone, um, you always want them to be talking you want them to talk as much as you can. And so the first thing that, you know, I ask them, like, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. And so depending on what they're saying, this helps you kind of figure out how to set up your team building appointment. And so if she's talking about, like, her job, like, you know, I work in the arsenal, I'm the top engineer in my firm, and she is the most likely a dominance personality. If she talks about herself, like, well, oh, you know, I like to salsa in the me. I like to salsa Vegas, you know, I have a very business, I got my daughter, 
like hanging out with my friends and there's an influence. Um, steadiness is where they talk about the family and the work that she does with the family in their church. So, you know, church is a big thing, you know, every Sunday I go to church, blah, blah, blah. Conscientiousness will ask you a lot of questions. So they'll just be like, you know, well, what do you mean by that question? I don't know what to say. Like, what, what exactly do you want to know? Those are conscientious people. So the characteristics that they have, you know, dominance, they're result-oriented, they like a career, they like making decisions, they're very independent, very confident. Influence, they're people-oriented, they love recognition, that's me, loves to talk, enthusiastic. Um, steadiness, they're family-oriented, they like security, they like, they like loyalty, friendship, and then conscientiousness, detail-oriented, perfectionist. Very analytical, very organized, like all the facts. So then the next square is what you might focus on in the team building. So if they're dominant, if you're like, okay, this girl is a dominant person, you're going to focus on leadership. You're going to focus on, you know, one of the amazing things about this business is that you can actually move up in a career path. You can become a leader. Um, you can increase your paycheck. You can move as fast or as slow as you want. You're your own boss. You have that total flexibility. That's what's going to get them hyped, that be your own boss. Influence is going to love like the sisterhood. So, you know, we get tons of recognition, prizes, we have the sisterhood, we love seminar. Like, they'll get excited about those things. Steadiness, they're going to like the fact about, you know, keeping their priorities. You know, our, our business is safe first, come second, career third. You'll be able to spend time with your family and then work your business when you can. You're going to make great friends. That kind of stuff. And then conscientiousness, they're all about like, personal growth, working on like, hours. And they get excited about like MPD. Like, they're like, oh, yes, MPD. I can learn. I have all the tools I need to be good at this. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm <laughs> So, at the team building appointment, the bottom one is these are, this is how you're going to kind of line your, your appointment. So, dominance, like, they want straight to the point. Very short, brief, um, just you know, explain exactly how everything's gonna work out, let her do the talking, and she's probably gonna be a decision maker. Influence, they have a longer appointment, you need to build a relationship with them, let her do a lot of talking. Um, she doesn't need all the details. And then definitely like it's about that I story. Steadiness, giving simple explanations, sharing the facts about you know how much it costs, how much time it takes, how to get started, just those quick, simple facts. And then conscientiousness, they need like all the facts. Answer all their questions, all the facts. We gotta talk about the company's credibility. And um, sometimes these people will take more than one appointment. And so that kind of breaks down the kind of people that you're gonna be working with. The second sheet. These are effective recruiting questions. So after you've gotten to know her, then you can say, you know, if you don't become a consultant, where do you see yourself a year from now? <clears throat> and if you were to become a consultant today, what in your life would be improved a year from now? So it kind of gives her a visual. What questions do you have that would benefit you? Or what qualities do you have that would benefit you as a consultant? So that's when they get to boost themselves. You know, I'm a go-getter, I'm really great with people, that kind of stuff. What are the two most important reasons for you to become a consultant today? So they might say, you know, I will be able to spend more time with my kids, or I'll be able to have more income, things like that. It does sound like you'd be an excellent consultant, why don't you give it a try? And so she's either going to say yes or no, and if she says not right now, then bless you. You want to follow up. <laughs> so do y'all have any questions about those? Nope. Got it. Okay. So that was my training. What y'all think? Okay, good. So tomorrow, booking list at 6. So Saturday, I'll be working 10, 1, and 4. Um, for your homework, put together your power team list for who you would like to work with and have on your team. I want you to look at your phone, your social media, look at the parties that you've had so far. Who do you see that you just think are incredible and you would love to grow a relationship with? 
Now I want you to give with your director by Wednesday. Let her know who's on the list and why you want them. That way she knows why you want to work with them. And so we'll do a little giveaway for whoever has the most qualified training. We can do the appointment with your director. It'll probably be like a product giveaway that y'all can use for demo. And so this is our closing positive quote from Mary Kay herself. Make every day count. Make every hour count. Make every minute count. And don't stop until you have exercised your full potential. Realizing your impossible dream and fulfilling your total destiny to become the person that you and only you are capable of being. And so when you are winding down from the day, you got to ask yourself, did you make it count? Did you exercise your full potential? Did you do everything that you could to make your dreams a reality today? And we <laughs> Thank you.